Welcome to the third in the series of the APM videos. In this one we're going to talk about how you arm the copter and we're going to talk a little bit about the things that the board now does as of version 3.0 of the software that might cause you problems and how you diagnose those if you're struggling to get the board to fire up and get the motors running. So the first thing we'll talk about is how you arm the board and that's pretty straightforward. With the radio powered up, you power up the model, wait for the multi-Wii to initialize, that takes a couple of seconds, and then once it has, you hold the throttle to its lowest position, you push it over to the right hand side and keep it there for five seconds. Once the five seconds have passed, you let go, the lights change as you can see here, and then the board is armed, you're ready to rock and roll. And when you lift the throttle next time, it will actually start spinning the motors. A couple of things to point here is that um, the board will only arm if you're in stabilized, acro, altitude, hold or loiter mode. If you're in anything else, you can arm it. So make sure that that's not part of the problem. You also don't want to hold the stick to the low right position for more than 15 seconds because if you do you'll enter something called auto trim which we'll cover in a later video. So I would suggest that you kind of want to count to seven or eight in your head to let go of the stick to make sure that you're comfortably over the five seconds and you're ready to go. If you don't take off once the board is armed, after about 15 seconds it will automatically disarm so um, you have to be ready to go so once you've armed the board you start to fly. Interestingly you can only disarm the board in stabilize, acro, altitude, hold and loiter mode as well. So always have one of the modes on your um, switch on your transmitter I suggest as stabilize, that's the one I have as the lowest position and that's one that you can start in and that's always easy to pop that switch back into that position to arm and disarm the board. Now, that being said, there's a number of things that will stop the board from arming because as of version 3.0 of the software and above, you have a number of things that the board checks before it even thinks about arming when you're holding that stick to the lower right hand side for five seconds. And what we'll do is we'll run through these at a fair click. I'm not going to go into any detail on any of them, but I just want to kind of let you know the board is doing a number of things and then we'll talk about how you troubleshoot that. If you're interested in this, you can actually um, do a Google search for the APM pre-arming checks and go into the arducopter.com site and this is all listed in great detail in there. Um, so if you're interested in getting to the nitty gritty behind it, that's the resource for you. So we start at the top left hand corner and we're going to follow all of these steps. So the first thing it does is check that the radio calibration was done when the firmware was first installed. So that's why we do it when we do it checks the accelerometer calibration was done and then checks four things on the compass one after the other checks the compass health is okay that the offsets for the compass are good and there's not erroneous checks the compass calibration has been done and then checks the strength of the magnetic field around the compass is within tolerances once it's happy with that checks the barometer is okay checks that if, if you're arming in loiter mode it has a GPS lock if it doesn't have a GPS lock, it will wait for one. So that could be the reason why it isn't arming. Checks that the GPS H-DOP is less than two. Now H-DOP is just an indicator of how good the GPS lock is. Um, a, uh, less than two is acceptable. Less than 1.5 is a great GPS signal and um, in good shape. More than 2.0 is not brilliant and it won't initialize. Checks that the ground speed, that it's basically stood still, it's less than 50 centimetres a second. Checks the input voltages are within tolerance on the way in. So I think it's about 4.7 to about 5.5 volts. It just double checks that that's okay. Make sure that channel seven and eight on the configuration are set to do different things. Make sure that the fail safe isn't in effect. And that fail safe is what we'll look at in probably the next video where we can set a value for the throttle below which the board will initiate failsafe and do whatever the failsafe condition is. As we looked at in the first video, I set my failsafe to be return to launch typically. Then it, make sure that the maximum angle is within tolerances and then finally make sure that the radio, rudder, pitch, throttle and yaw are all um, 
set up okay as well and within I think it's um, 1300 to 1700 um, channel values if all that stuff checks out then it arms and those lights flash and um, you're good to initialize the challenge is if any one of these tests fail the board will not arm but as of the current version of the code you don't get any error messages or flashing lights or anything to let you know where the problem is and that's a big hassle so if you have an APM that you've built that you can't arm and um, fly, the best thing to do is to go into our friend Mission Planner and actually connect Mission Planner to the APM while the battery is installed and actually try and arm the copter while you are looking at this screen here where you have the artificial horizon on the left, stats, facts and figures at the bottom and usually have the map on the right showing your GPS location. So with it connected to the copter, you push the stick to the lower right hand side and what will come up here is where it says um, that it isn't armed and there's no GPS lock. Actually on top of the artificial horizon, the error code will appear here to show you what is stopping the board arming. Whether it's not happy that the, um, the, the compass is okay or the accelerometer calibration it, it's not happy that that was done properly you will see it here and then you can go and take care of that specific issue so hopefully that's useful for those of you who are looking at APM or you might have done an upgrade or changed something on the board and now the board won't arm make sure that your endpoints on the throttle and the right rudder are far enough along so that the APM sees the low values. Make sure that you are not falling foul of things like being in loiter mode and it waiting for a GPS lock. And if all else fails, plug it into the mission planner, try and arm it with the mission planner connected via a USB cable and the math link and see what error appears in the artificial horizon. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, comment my help out channel is available if needed and hopefully my next video on the APM will be around in the next four or five days happy flying